Welcome! In this screencast I want to show you how you can record your own screencasts using the software GTK Record My Desktop. Disclaimer! Notice that I'm using GTK Record My Desktop because it's my favorite tool and I want to show you how I am creating this screencast using uh, Record My Desktop. And this is one or the first screencast of many screencasts and there will be definitely a second screencast where I show you how you can edit your files that you recorded. So let's first start with GTK Record My Desktop and recording a screen session. So the first thing you need to do is install GTK Record My Desktop. Go to the menu, choose Preferences, Synaptic Package Management and go to Search GTK Record My Desktop Market for installation, hit apply and it will install. Then you can find it under the menu, sound and video, GDK, GDK record my desktop. Here you have the application, it's basically uh, on the left you can see the preview image of what it will record. You can set a rectangle or square here to choose the area that it should record or you can select a window directly by clicking this button here. On the right you can see I can choose or set my video quality and sound quality and I can check this box if I want to enable sound or disable sound recording. And there are some advanced options that are very crucial for a good screencast. So let me show this very quickly. First of all, you can choose a working directory. This is important because you need temporary space for all the screenshots, all the files that it will write to uh, create a screen session. And you need, of course, a lot of space. So change the path to a partition or an HD that uh, has a lot of space. On the performance tab, you can change or have to change the frames per second because it's normally set to 15 frames per second and this is a little bit, a little bit low so set it to 25 or 30 frames per second uh, depending on your machine of course. If you want to record compass or compositing effects, 3D effects then you need to uh, tick this box full shots at every frame so all these nice little 3D effects will, will get recorded in the video. Sound is also very crucial and here you need to set the frequency to 48,000 otherwise you get a creepy and uh, very um, very confusing sound I would say. So set it to 48,000 simply. Under the device section you need to simply add the right device, the right other device. I'm using a USB headset so I set it to 1.0 and plug HV is uh, the the right uh, the right device or the right way to access your device. So for example if you want to use your internal micro check in you can simply type in here 0.0, .0 and it should then work. Under the MISC tab you can set your mouse cursor theme either to normal or using a white or black one or none. And what's very funny is this little option here, the outline capture area on screen. It's ticked on by default but I would suggest uh, to untick it because when it's uh, activated and if you are recording a screencast it will then um, block the drag and drop support for every application on your system and this is really annoying so tick this off here. So these are the basic crucial settings you need to do for recording your screencast. The only thing that you need to do now is hit the record button and it will save your file under your home directory with the name out, uh, out, uh, dot .ogv and if you want to stop recording you can see here down below I have a little stop button here. This is the stop button for this screencast that I'm recording now and if I want to stop the screencast I simply click on this stop button it will stop immediately to record my screencast and then start rendering the whole video. 
one important tip uh, at last go to the menu go to accessories and Alex Thermal and open up the Alza mixer it's important that you set if you want to enable or uh, capture sound to set the right volume uh, to your sound card or to your sound input um, if if you start other mixer uh, like I did here you will automatically uh, go to the playback tab uh, hitting F4 here will go to the capture tab and you can see I uh, set the input source to mic you can change uh, this with the arrow keys here so you can change various different formats to capture from and I set the capture volume here to 84 percentage and a little mic boost here and a front mic boost so this is really crucial if you have a sound that's a little bit too low a volume that's a little bit too low so higher it up with uh, other mixer so this is everything for this first screencast I showed you how you can create your own screencast and on the next screencast I will show you how you can edit your own uh, recorded screencast so thanks for watching and have a lot of fun